Hiya, I'm Ria Walia. I'm in my final year studying mathematics with management and finance. The reason why I decided to study my course is because I absolutely enjoyed studying maths at A levels um, and I sort of knew that I wanted to go into finance or even banking after I graduated and I thought a course that combined the two subjects which is finance and maths would be a great way to sort of propel me into a career of my choosing. Studying at university is a lot different from studying at school or college or sixth form because you have a lot more freedom with your schedule. So at university you just go in for your lectures or the contact hours that are listed on your schedule. You don't have anyone telling you when to study or when to revise, that's all up to you. of how a typical day might look like for a math student is a lot different from other course uh, students because we have a lot less contact hours and it's up to us whether we study and um, and how we study really because a lot of people prefer to study individually or in groups with math. So a typical day for me would depend on, on whether I have those contact hours in the day. I would usually go to my lectures and my seminar and then spend a few hours in the Waterloo Library because that was one of my favourite libraries out of the three or four we have. We have many libraries dotted around the, the city. Um, and usually after my lectures, I would stroll across the bridge from Strand to Waterloo and study there in the library for a few hours and maybe even speak to a few friends and meet meet up with them later on for a coffee. So that usually was my typical day at university pre-COVID. If you asked me how many hours I studied in a week, I probably wouldn't be able to give you that number um, because it would depend on our problem sheets, which were given from each module. And I know I used to study and work through it uh, in a group. So it really depend, depended on how difficult or how tricky these problem sheets were. Sometimes it would take maybe three hours on one problem sheet. Sometimes it'd only take half an hour to get through it. Um, but usually you could say I would study maybe three to four hours um, a day so you could say give or take I would spend maybe 15 hours in a week and that's just on my own that's um, like individual study time and then of course you've got the contact hours too so I guess all in all I would spend around 35 to 40 hours a week just as if it was a full-time job the best thing about Kings is the lecturers are super passionate about the specific module that they're teaching and just generally about the subject matter. Um, yes, as someone who has come from sixth form or college, it is quite daunting to approach a lecturer, someone who has had so much experience, but honestly, once you've, you've broke that first initial contact experience, then you won't feel as shy or as intimidated. And honestly, they're super friendly and super approachable. It's just that initial meeting that you've, you've got to make and, and honestly, that's just generally um, the experience you will have at university. For me personally, it was really easy to make friends. Um, that's because I'm quite extroverted, I'm super bubbly and friendly, and I just said hi to everyone that was sitting near me on my first lecture on my first day. I think that's the key here. Um, when you do attend your first lecture or indeed your seminar, um, don't be shy to just say hi to the people sitting next to you and around you. Everyone's in the same boat. Um, but I guess it did help because I did live in halls for my first year, and, um, and that meant I met so many different freshers and students in halls as well uh, otherwise everyone is feeling the same way as you're feeling so don't feel intimidated or shy um, just say hi and that will be a start of a great friendship I promise So I lived at Great Dover Street in my first year as a fresher and for the rest of the few years I lived at home because um, I don't live too far from campus. Um, it was a great experience. 
My favourite place to study was Waterloo Library. It's a small library with a cafe downstairs, which is the best place for me to study with my friends because there's some group study rooms there as well. Um, another place I really enjoyed studying was at Bush House. Um, you have the bean bags, you have great study spaces, some silent spaces as well. Um, so that was great to, to do a variety of things. So Bush House was definitely hands down the best place to study. I guess I would always go to Bush House to relax as well um, because you've got those really fun places uh, with the bean bags where you can relax but you could also study as well. Um, so I guess my favourite place to study and relax is at Bush House. My favourite place to eat was at the vault. Um, the vault is underground under Bush House. Uh, and that's so fun to just socialize and drink and eat with your friends. So that was definitely my favorite place to eat. Once I've graduated, I'd like to join a graduate scheme in banking or finance and then eventually start my own business. Living in London is like no other. It's the best city in the world. Yes, I'm really biased because I'm born and brought up in this city, but if you study and you live in central London, it's a completely different experience. Um, everything is at your doorstep. You've got so many different restaurants, so many different events and, and organizations at your doorstep. Um, there's so many possibilities when you live in London, whether that's in your careers or just for volunteering. If you're a foodie, there's everything for anyone in this city. So it is the best place to, to study and indeed start your professional career. King's Careers has helped me so much during my time at the university. Um, at the beginning, I had just sent them my CV to review, which they really helped me in improving. I also went to them for a mock interview prior to an interview with a few banks for spring weeks and summer internships. That really helped my confidence and they gave me great tips in, in order to improve my skills and my interviewing uh, style too. Um, after that, I also sought out different opportunities on the King's Careers portal um, such as a summer internship I did this year remotely that was based out in Las Vegas. Now if I hadn't um, accessed these opportunities on King's Careers I wouldn't have known about them so it's been great help in my professional development. The best thing about King's is that there is a place for everyone. Um, for me, I found my spark at King's. I, I found out that I really enjoy entrepreneurship and I'm really entrepreneurial. And I guess I found my family in the King's Entrepreneurship Institute. Um, and I guess before that, I didn't really know that this is something I enjoy so much. And I, I've never felt so um, included and part of a community. And that's where I really developed myself um, as an individual and it boosted my confidence. If I had to describe Kings in three words, they would be connected, vibrant, and inclusive. My most memorable moment at King's has to be the Venture Crawl. So the Venture Crawl is a annual event hosted by the King's Entrepreneurship Institute um, in partnership with other entrepreneurship institutes across different universities in Southeast England um, and in London. Um, so that's, that is an event that takes place every year in spring where we go and visit different organizations such as Deliveroo, such as Accenture, and we get to participate in really cool activities and learn more about the entrepreneurship ecosystem in London. And at the end, we have a pitch day where different entrepreneurs from different universities go on stage and pitch their startup idea.